Welcome to another edition of Coffee with Coaches. My name is Scott Ellis, and I'm joined by men's soccer head coach Kevin Island, who's entering his first year. Uh, first, coach, are, are you a coffee drinker? Oh, yeah, yeah. Have to, uh, I got my uh, first cup right now, but uh, went for a walk this morning with my wife, so typically would probably have already had one if I hadn't worked out, but yeah, first one. Have to have it every day. <laughs> Do you have a particular flavor, or you can drink any type of coffee? Yeah, pretty easy. If it's got, uh, uh, it's got some milk and a little honey, I'm, I'm good to go. <laughs> so, I mean, you mentioned that you were able to go for a walk with your wife. I mean, overall, how has your summer been, all things considered? Yeah, good. Um, you know, when I say good, we, we moved up uh, back in May during pandemic and, and did the drive from Miami to Boston with, uh, with the family. So um, that kind of was the kickstart of it. And since we've been here uh, since June, it's been great. Um, you know, obviously with everything going on, it allows you to, we've been allowed to spend a little more time with the kids. Um, so taking advantage, full advantage of that. So it's, uh, it's been a good little go. And Obviously, as we get closer to next week, everybody's excited to, to get back onto campus and students uh, taking classes and student athletes, obviously, with the ability to start training. So uh, exciting times. It's, it seemed like it's been a, from a far distance for a while. So right. glad, glad September's uh, looming close. Right. Well, you mentioned about people uh, moving on campus. I mean, overall, how have the past few months been for you in terms of communicating with the team and how's the moving been going for the guys? Yeah, our guys, you know, have been really good. Um, we've said this, I've said this to them. I've said this to a lot of people during this, this summer. Um, they've been focused. They've been disciplined. Uh, not an easy task by any means, whether you're a college student or you're a working professional like the two of us, right? Um, change. There, there's been a, an abrupt uh, sense of change. And so the guys, uh, we, we meet twice a week uh, on Zoom calls with the team. And then, of course, on top of that, have individual meetings based, just based upon what guys are needing at the current time. Uh, just touching base with them and making sure they're good. But from our perspective, yeah, listen, I haven't seen them, right? Haven't seen them play or seen them work out. Um, haven't been around them since March 7th. That's the last time I've seen just the returners uh, from a soccer standpoint. But everybody's good. Everybody's healthy. Um, and everybody's ready to get back and uh, enjoy being back on campus. And, you know, guys have slowly trickled in. Uh, starting last week and will continue to, to come in and uh, over the next, I'd say, five to seven days. So um, still haven't seen any of them, but, you know, our, our Zoom sessions still go on on Monday and Thursday morning. So it's been uh, it's been a good time to be with them. And, you know, we've got to talk soccer. We've got to talk life. We've got to talk, you know, you name it uh, with with the guys, just how they're doing, what they've been doing. Uh, and I've, I've said this to you before, just in conversation, but we just asked our guys to find a, their schedule, you know, during this time, find what, what works for them, right? What worked pre pandemic was your, your previous life, right? Now you have to find how you're going to operate now and, and be successful, right? So highly successful people have highly successful schedules throughout the day. So, um, and we've asked, we've asked the guys to do that. And, and I think that they've taken to it and, and been really good. So excited to see them in face over whenever that comes, hopefully next week. Right. And, uh, go from there. Right. And speaking of excitement, I mean, this was an opportunity, uh, for you and your wife to come back to new England. I mean, can you just talk about why BU is the right fit for you and your family? Yeah. You know, listen, uh, job hasn't come open for a long time. It's obviously a, a really good job. It's obviously a prestigious university, right? That speaks for itself. So um, when the opportunity came last off season, uh, Michelle and I had that conversation, right? Um, there's a finite number of soccer jobs in the country. There's a finite number of division one, if you would like to put it in that position in the country. Um, and we were fortunate uh, to have success at FIU, which then allowed to have a conversation with BU. Um, 
but to come back and to be part of uh, an athletic department and to be part of a university that has done such great things in the past and obviously is continuing to be uh, kind of at the forefront. If you even want to look at how the president uh, and the university has uh, reacted to COVID and the pandemic. I mean, we're, we're part of an institution that is in a, in a top tier. Um, and then to have the ability to work with the student athletes from a soccer perspective, a program that has historically been very successful. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a really fun conversation for Michelle and I to have. And, and just to add it, being back in New England, right? That was like the added bonus, I can coach soccer anywhere. I love soccer, right? Uh, my wife and I are going to be able to work wherever we are. Uh, we've, we've done it for long enough. But to couple everything that we've just talked about and then to say you have the chance to do it in an area where we both are from, yeah, it was, uh, it was a win-win. So we're really excited. It's been fun being back here. We're living in Medford, which isn't too far, so just north out of the city, Um and get that little city feeling back from, from being down in Miami for years where it wasn't as much of the city feel. And uh, it's, been, it's been a good couple months being back here. Right. And you were able to bring on uh, Ben and Pat from your staff at FIU. Can you just talk about why it was important or why it worked out great that they were able to come join you at BU? Yeah. yeah. I mean, how lucky can, can – uh, and I, I don't want to, I don't use the word I, but how lucky can I be to, to continue to work with uh, two coaches who I know are very successful. The three of us, and, and there was, we had another one with us down there in Miami um, who's not, no longer in coaching, but it started as a group of four. Um, and, and to be able to now continue to work together going on four plus years, I mean, I can't speak enough about the the people that Ben and Pat are, right? I've, I've known Ben. Ben and I were, you know, on the recruiting trails as young assistants 10 plus years ago, right? And we, we'd show up at different places across the country and be like, man, there he is again, you know? And it all came to kind of sorts when I, I was, <laughs> we both were in England and we both showed up to a game at, at Leicester. And we watched a youth FA cup game. And I was like, dude, how, what are you doing? Right. And, and at that time, you know, youth FA cup games are they're, they're out throughout the country. And, and so you can kind of go to which one you want to go to pending who you know in your network. And we were at the same game. And at that point, like we just continued to talk more and more um, and was fortunate to have him when I was named the head coach at FIU to, to bring him in and Pat, uh, played at FIU uh, when I was an assistant under uh, Scott Calabrese, a good friend who's the head coach at UCF. And so Pat was our starting center back for a couple years and our 2015 season uh, kind of put us on his shoulders a little bit. Um, and, and after he graduated, um, had a conversation with me and said, I want to get in coaching. And again, uh, kind of just started out and, We've been together since. So two good guys, two great people, um, you know, and we work well together. Uh, you know, you have to know who you are. So for them to have to hang out with me and, and vice versa, we have to be able to get along and it's not just soccer. Um, so, yeah, to have them join our staff department university, we're all winning. We're all, uh, you know, getting two really good people two really good coaches uh, and, and two guys who are, who are going to support the program and, and do everything for the guys. So uh, for myself, yeah, it, it's unbelievable, right. Uh, for us to continue to basically pick up where we left off last year uh, at FIU. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not one to, to speak about accolades or what we've done, but you can go check. We were successful at FIU. And, and I think that that, uh, if you're going to ever look and, and bet on something, you're going to bet on who you work with and, and who you surround yourself with. And, you know, I'm excited for what we can now do to, to help the BU men's soccer program. I really am. So yeah, BU is, is getting two good ones. Uh, 
in, in two of my friends in, in, in Ben and Pat. And so I probably speak better about them than they do about me, but that's life, you know? <laughs> Right. And certainly one of the, the key parts of coaching and how a successful program is recruiting. So my next question for you is, what are you, Ben and Pat, looking for in recruits, uh, especially for BU? Yeah, you know, so it's been that's probably been one of the most interesting parts of, of pandemic is this recruiting side um, because we're in a dead period. Right. So. um We've now gone back into our database of, of kids that we've seen and, and tracked over the past two plus years and um, we probably have more of an understanding of maybe the Southeast region than the Northeast region. Um, but what we've done is continue to, to navigate through our network and to make sure that um, we're adding guys to the list, even though we don't necessarily haven't seen them. Um, live. We've seen video, but we haven't seen them live. And, and we're continuing to uh, have conversations with kids. But from an overall holistic approach, um, in terms of recruits, at the end, you know, one of the biggest things for us, they got to be a good guy. They got to be a good person. There's certain, you know, character, uh, however you want to categorize it, right? But personality traits, you know, your moral compass, you know, however, again, I may describe it one way and you could describe it another way, but um, who you are and, and, and how you present yourself and, and what you do on a daily basis, there's certain non-negotiable with, within how we operate in terms of recruiting, right? Um, and, and so figuring that side out and then obviously the, the physical soccer side, right? Positionally, where we are uh, with a depth chart, what positional needs do we need? Uh, the, the biggest thing we had to do when we first came in is look at what we have with the current roster and we have a great current roster, right? You got to work with what you have within, right? So our biggest thing right now is our group together, right? The outside is the outside. We can't really worry about the outside, but it's, it's the guys within. So those are our, that's, that's our number one mission, right? To, to figure out our, our current group and then to then help uh, positionally, right? Uh, based upon what we don't have. Do we not have a left-sided player? Do we not have a attacking right-sided player? Do we not have a in-the-pocket number 10, right? Like we have to identify that based upon our, our current roster. And, um, you know, that's been exciting, but it's, it's a hard time for recruiting because again, as I said, we, we can't go and watch anybody live. And, and that's been since March and is running through right now until possibly, you know, NCA conversations that could be for a couple more months. So, um, you know, it's been a, it's been interesting uh, time for recruiting. I can probably imagine a lot of coaches are saying, you know, whether they say it's interesting or not, but it's been a different time. Um, just having conversations with kids and not knowing what's going to happen uh, when you're going to be able to see them for the, for the first time or for the next time, as you would like to say. So, um but yeah, hard work, right? We're demanding. So you got to work hard. If you want to talk about one thing on the field, good attitude, work hard, and, and you can get from there, right? At this, at this level, Scott, all these guys can play soccer. They all know, you know, for the most part, they all have, a, have had a, a really good youth career and have come up and, and have been coached by some really good coaches and played with some really good clubs. Um, so they have a good benchmark Right. So they're they're technically savvy they, they, you know, from a tactical standpoint, they're probably been around enough to uh, see certain things. Right. So we're not reinventing anything here from soccer standpoint, but we're looking to play a certain way and in, in, in how we believe we can be effective and efficient and, and be really powerful within the league. Right. Um, because at the end of the day, you want to win. Right. Everybody smiles when you're winning. Everybody, everybody has fun when, when, when things are going well. And w I don't want you to misconstrue that, that winning is everything, but you know, you want to, you want to be on, on top, right? You want to win more than you want to lose. And, and we get it. And you, listen, losing sometimes when you win, you actually lose and the vice versa. Sometimes when you lose, you, you really win, but we want to just create a culture and, and create a program and, and a team that's uh, going to be really exciting. And the guys are going to be really excited to be part of, Right. You want to ask about some recruit? We want guys who want to be with us. Yeah, 
I don't want to have a, I'm not having a conversation with a kid who's like, ah, do I really want to be at BU? Well, if you don't want to, guess what? That's fine. You know, we'll find somebody else who can probably do what the same thing you do and have certain characteristics and certain traits and, and who wants to be with us. And we're okay with that. Right. So been rejected plenty of times in my life by recruits. It's okay. You know, on to the next one. Right. And you mentioned uh, my final question. You mentioned about creating that culture and team chemistry. What other goals have you and the staff set for this fall? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a funny one. <laughs> if you, <laughs> if you had said this back in, in, in March or in, or in February, January, I think the goals would be different than they are now. Um, you know, I, I think it's kind of a, not a tough question, but a goal, goal is to us get together on the field. As, as simple as that may sound, that's the goal. The right. goal is to laugh with the guys at a training session. The goal is to, to work hard with the guys at a training session. The goal is to, to celebrate with the guys when they score a great goal, at, uh, you know, at practice. Uh, not over-celebrate, but just because we're going to be back together and we haven't been for so long. Um, the goal is for us to get into a, a really strong routine here this fall. Right? We have a lot of work ahead of us. We don't have a game, right? Great. That's fine. We're going to train. And we're going to train really effectively. And we're going to train at a, at a high level. So we are prepared for when that first game comes. Um, so how that's achieved? Every day. The guys' routines, right? Everything they're putting in their body before practice, everything they're doing at practice, the standard, the level, the accountability, the, the, the fun of it. And, and then how they're taking care of themselves after practice, how they are now being responsible in a time where we have to socially distance, having them be responsible in a time on a collegiate campus where we've seen what's going on at other campuses, right? So the goal is for us to stay together and to enjoy it, but we have a lot of work and we have a lot of responsibility as a group and within that as individuals to, to do such and, and, and to captivate that daily, right? It's one thing to, you know, you've been around it long enough. Everybody says, you, you, hear, you hear all these kids say, whether it's youth players, whatever sport, I want to be a pro. I want to be a pro. I want to be a pro. You hear it all the time, right? Kids see it. Social media, kids see it. How about just be really good every day in everything you do? Don't even worry about just in soccer for us. How about you be on top in class, on top in how you are as a person, on top in every decision you make? That's that's being at a high level, right? And, and everything else will come. So for us, it's daily, right? Guys are taking care of themselves every day. You got to get up and eat breakfast before our training session, Right. Kids over the last six months across the country, myself included, I've skipped breakfast, right? It's pandemic. Ah, it's okay. It doesn't matter, right? That's kind of the thought process. We have to change that a little bit now that we're going to be back in, in a high functioning, high scheduling and, and demanding uh, routine. So goals, I, I, you know, there are so many, but I think the biggest ones, us being together and, and putting work in and, and, and preparing for that time, but not forgetting how much of a passion we have for the game and the fact that we've been away from it for so long, right? Um, and, and then a goal for us, and we've talked about it, is us individually and as a program uh, doing our part in, in terms of the health and safety of not only our players, but our campus, right? Uh, there's going to be a, a big responsibility for every single person coming back on campus this fall because we all want to be able to stay in classes. We all want to be able to to continue what our life is. Um, and, and so that's a that's a big part, I think, that has to be spoken about. Right. College kids, uh, you and I, we, we have to be responsible every day. I have a family. Right. I, you know, kids I have to do that testing, socially distancing masks like we have to do this and, and we have to be pillars of it and, and ambassadors. And so I'm, you know, that's going to be a goal too. 
guys staying on it, being being in a really good routine, right, um, and, and diligent in regards to such. So, uh, going to be a fun uh, semester, both on and off the field. Just to hope that our guys are, are prepared for it, right? And, and so then that's a responsibility of of us as a staff, right? And, and how we manage what they're doing and how we advise what them in, in, in certain times, right? And you know, always support the players. At the end of the day, it's about the players. So we got to be there for them uh, during this. So uh, yeah, get back on that field, man. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I said this the past couple of days to my wife, I just can't wait to, to get back on a field. I haven't put cleats on. I haven't been on Nickerson with cleats since we played our spring game on March 7th. Yeah, I, I can recount every single thing that took place in that game. And I re- can recount everything that every step that I took on the sideline last night, but I, I need that feeling back. Right. You know, it might sound crazy, but um, we, we all have our, our thoughts and maybe our quirks. And as a coach, I want to be back on the field. I said to one of our guys, you know, they make fun of me because I wear a whistle and, and I have a stopwatch. I said, I need to have my whistle and stopwatch guys. Right. Um, so you guys can laugh at me, but yeah, I've missed that part. I missed it. So, um, putting on a BU gear, right. I don't have as much as you being the new guy, but, um, <laughs> just putting on gear every day and going out. Right. So, um, yeah, in a long winded way, a lot of goals, um, but a lot of smiles. Right. And, and I think that's really important for, for our guys. And I think our guys are super excited. I hope, I hope everybody, not only our guys, I hope all student athletes and all students, I've said this to a couple other outlets, right? Like for the, for any student across the country coming back, good for them, you know, and and to get back into, into their life. But, you know, for them to also know that they have such a responsibility to carry out every day, right? It's not just them. It's for everybody. And and I, and I think that's going to be a really important piece here. So, um, yeah, everything good with you though? Nope, absolutely. And I just wanted to thank you uh, for joining me and I'll see you on campus soon. Yeah, thanks man, it's good to see you uh, and, and we'll catch you soon. Okay.